afternoon YouTubers, uh, back at Oak Lakes, doing this one on my own, gonna have a little 48 hour session, just under 48 as it happens, but uh, good results last time, we have had torrential rain for the last four days, it's now about September the 27th, 28th, something like that, and uh, as everyone knows we've had a right big downpour, anyway, today uh, has been clear all day, sunshine's come out, lovely, slight northwesterly on the lake, uh, but looking confident. I've seen a couple of fish move. I've got one down on the margin. I've just put it down there. Uh, I'm just about to put the second rod rod out. So uh, this is how I'm fishing it. Just to let you guys know, I don't hide nothing from you. This is the way it is. It's a little stick there. Now that stick has got the crushed crushed up uh, strawberry cream boilies, a little bit of uh, PVA foam nugget in each end, just to give a bit of buoyancy. Not only that, I know exactly when the bags burst and uh, where it is, so I know it's bang on my spot. The actual bait is bang on my spot. And I do mine like this, so my baits are fished just off of the crush bait. So that's just a thing that I've got, it's just a tiny bit of the baited area, but it's happy days. It stays pretty tangle free like that as well. I'll put a bit of foam around that size 12, called a capture. It's either a mugger or a capture. They're the only hooks I really use. That's a piece of eight pound Christian silk. A little bit of putty around that. Now if you look how I've got this lead, it's fish drop off style. These uh, hook link and the main line are tied at the same end of the swivel there. And it's so important when you're casting these out. It's not so bad on a, when you're boating them out, but it's so important that when you put this bit of tube in here, this is a rigmarole tube and it's got a steel core for it so you can get away with this. There's two reasons I use it. If you cast it and it's down on a gravel bar, the line isn't exposed and it won't hit the gravel bump, ping off, cut, shear, damage the line, any way like that. Okay, that wraps around, the tail rubber goes through that and uh, basically what happens when a fish hits that, that comes out, that will now become a running lead on that tail rubber and because that tubing has got the steel core, you're now a running lead. That gives it the shock, that gives it the run. As soon as you pick up, bang the leads away and now you're fishing total drop off style and that is how I catch most of my fish two little 12 mils 16's work well over here Stevie had it off the other week on him he winkled a few out uh, he done pretty well um, but that is basically how I've been catching near enough all my fish I fished the masala the same way but uh, anyway welcome to the start of a 48 hour session with me on Oak Lake Syndicate let's have some fun let's have some fish Right, hello YouTubers. What's that say? You're looking at about £20.6 on there. I've teared the scales. In other words, I've zeroed them for the thing. I'm looking at you and it's saying about £20.5, £26, 27 back to 6 I ain't going to be greedy, I'm going to give myself £20.5 for this. It's a mirror. Happy days. Yes, we've had one. Right, YouTubers, here we go. £20.5 or 6 Can't get a kit. Always carry one. If you can. Still got a cover over, just going to do the right thing where the hook was. Sure, it is a little bit of wind noise, the wind has been picking up, but bear with me. I'm just uh, doing what's right with the fish first. Bangles up. Watch off. These are old English fish, these. Got to look after them. I hope she behaves herself, she's an absolute cracker. Ugh. Nearly give me a good slap with its tail. Ugh. Plenty of fight left in it. Plenty of fight left in it. Here you go. How about that? Absolute crack. Nice unhooking mat, well padded, so I didn't drop it. 
I got it down to the ground, I hold it tight to my chest. If it's gonna go, I think it's gonna go. I'll hold tight to my chest. And there she is across the head. I'll show you the other side. Whee! Look how old and dark. These fish are. Came on the right rod, uh, sorry, the left rod. The one I put down on that margin, underneath that tree. A few big balls of bait, all crumbed up. Happy days. Let's get this one back in the water and uh, we'll put the camera by the edge of the water and you can see this one go on. Happy days. Fantastic result. Away she goes. And that is that it does. Fantastic. Right YouTubers, well happy with that. Well happy. 20 pound, 5 ounce. Sweet as a nut. Right, it's going back out there. This is how this one was. Virtually the same. The old uh, drop off style. Don't mind using a bit of beige. I know it's silty down there, but a bit of brown on the tubing. There's a willow tree there, nice, that sort of colour on the branch, a bit of sticks are falling, might give a bit of visual, who knows. Anyway, the eight pound Kristen silk, really strong. Bit big that mug, it's a size six and a half work though, that didn't half go in. Uh, that's a 12 mil with a 16 mil on top of it. Uh, PVA stick, little pe light little stick, a few more boilies on the stringer. That's how I've been catching them. And uh, yeah, that's all uh, really happy days. So I'm going to get that one back out on the spot. There's quite a bit of bait out there, so that must have shifted through a lot of bait to find my one. So there's either a couple of his mates down there, or uh, who knows? Who knows? So uh, I'm going to get this one back out there pretty lively. I've earned myself a cup of tea. So uh, that's all good. So I'm going to get this one out there. There might be a couple of his mates there. If there is, I'm up for having them anyway. So, uh, catch you up in a bit, you never know, might have another one on the bank. Right YouTubers, we're back here again. We've had another little present, absolute cracker. 24 pound, 14 ounces, mirror. Uh, this one was taken on the Masala, just off the island, as you can probably see in the back of the picture behind me. This is an absolute peach. Uh, give me a lovely fight. I can tell you now she was greedy because she ate a lot of it. There were six sticks and about 40 to 50 baits around it. Fish six foot off the island. This is an absolute peach of a fish. And I'm going to have to ask one of the boys to move the camera back. And uh, no, she's just in. There you go. It's only just in frame, but look at that. Look at that. What a peach of a fish. Gorgeous mirrors, the sunburst colours, everything. She is absolutely mint. And this is why I am fishing Oak Lake Syndicates. I've taken on the masala. I put it down, show you the other side. And then uh, Gavin, one of the boys here, just turned up with Mark. He's going to do some stills. Absolutely fantastic. I've seen that scale. That big one. Yeah. Look at that. Look at the size of that big scale by your end. No, yeah, that one. There. That one. Yeah, that's a noticeable scale. That's how you'll know that. Do you know that? No, I'm also going to show you a picture of it front on, and you can see how wide this fish is across its head. It's a proper. Whoa. Fins back. It's a proper slab. There you go. Best 250 quid I've spent this year, Oak Lake Syndicates. Happy days. 
Hello YouTubers, this is the 2414 going back. We're not Polish, we put them back. It's here in a glory. Wet and shiny. Superb. Right, hello YouTubers. Uh, this is going to be the last bit of filming for me. We've still got the night to go, and the following morning the batteries are running a bit low in the camera. But uh, we've got a couple of fish on film. If I have any more, uh, Gav's come over to do the night, one of the locals, and uh, he can take a couple of still pictures for me, and uh, we stick them on the film when we get home. We'll. We'll, we'll fade them in and out of the film when we get home. Uh, right enjoyed the session, say, we're about, got another, it's now quarter past six, so what we're looking at now is till start packing up about 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. I still reckon I'll have a couple more, but uh, fantastic session, had a couple of cracking mirrors, absolute cracking mirrors, none of the big dark commons, but uh, happy days. I'm really chuffed with it, but uh, I'm going to be selfish because uh, there's not much battery left and I'm going to have this last 12, 14, 16 hours to myself and uh, all happy days. If you enjoyed what you've seen so far, I'll probably do another couple of films from here. What a fantastic little venue. So uh, anyway YouTubers, I shall catch up with you again soon and uh, you take care and good luck, tight lines, all that stuff and uh, yeah, happy dust.